In the last episode, I left the city of Kairouan to make my way to Tozer and start my adventure in Western Tunisia, a region with an incomparable beauty. Today, we will visit the mountain oasis of Shibika, Tamarza, the canyon of Midas, and a visit to the original movie set of Star Wars in the middle of the desert. My name is uh, Saber. Now, so we visit the first mountain oasis, is Shibika. In Shibika, we can see the old village. The Atlas Mountain, waterfall, spring, it's a tour about 45 minutes. Welcome to Shbika, everybody. The mountains that you see behind me is an extension of the Atlas Mountains, the mountain range starting in Morocco and going all the way to Gafsa here in Tunisia. Incredible views, beautiful landscape, and uh, right now we're going on a little hike strolling around the mountains and enjoying this landscape completely out of this world. This is amazing. Before we started our hike, we passed a small village where the Berbers used to live. But unfortunately, they moved out of this area because of the flash floods. It's very common out here, especially when it rains a lot. So the government helped them establish a new village called New Shibika. So they have uh, housing right there where the Berbers are living. But there's still some property out there. So we were able to see inside of some of these houses. They build them with the, you know, just basic material. They use a lot of uh, palm trees to help build the roofs and such. And that was pretty neat to see. And we learned earlier that millions of years ago, this was a sea, and so we were even able to see some fossils and shells on the rocks. So even right here, you can see it in the rocks. All the way there, you can see some of the fossils. It's pretty incredible. We made our way to the bottom here where there is an oasis. Right here, actually, there is a water source. And we were told that the temperature of this water source changes. Sometimes it's warm, and other times it's uh, pretty cold. So we're going to try and taste some water. There's a tiny little... Water source, right there. <laughs> the natural shampoo used for the black skin and for the hair. So this is, it comes through this mountain there. It's used by the Berber people and the Arabic people now. Till now they use this. How do you call it in Arabic? Ghasoul. So this is a natural shampoo. Shampoo d'argile, French language. We just stopped here to check a viewpoint overlooking the whole canyon and oh my gosh, it's very windy. Like I've never heard this strong of a noise from the wind. Woo! Wow, look at this. We just arrived to Tamarza. Here, there's supposed to be a real nice and large waterfall that we're going to check out for a bit. There are also just a bunch of vendors out here where you can buy some souvenirs. Uh, headscarves, because it's pretty popular in the Sahara to protect you from uh, from the sand and such. We might need them later on for the day, but for right now, uh, I'll make my way all the way there inside the canyon and see what the waterfall looks like. Let's go! That's the waterfall, and I'm gonna make my way to the bottom. This is Midas, a city on the border of Tunisia with Algeria, and it's known for this wonderful canyon behind me. It is beautiful. The landscape is beautiful, the oasis, the waterfalls, everything that we've been seeing throughout the day today is amazing, but this canyon is so unique. And I thought that there's actually a hiking trail that you can take if you want to make your way all the way down inside the canyon, which I'm not sure if we will do that today, but regardless, the views from here are just so epic. 
We stopped for lunch on the way to fuel up before heading to the heart of the Tunisian desert for another epic adventure. We made it to Unq Jmel. That ride was pretty insane. Unq Jmel, it translates to the neck of a camel. Because of the rock formation up there, especially if you see it from the other side, it looks very much like the neck of a camel. It's deserted, it's wide, it's open, and I'm very happy that we made it up here. We were told that the only sign, the only road sign in the whole desert out here is Unq Jmel. That's it. That was the only sign, the first sign that we saw. And Probably we're not seeing anything else. But anyway, I'm gonna make my way all the way up there and see what the views look like from up top. If you didn't know, there are actually a bunch of them spread all around Tunisia. This is the first one I'm seeing during my visit. Pretty impressive. So you can see there are some of the uh, houses right here. <laughs> this is super neat. I know for everyone who's a big fan of Star Wars, you will definitely enjoy seeing this. When I met my husband, he made sure that I watch every single one of them. And I did watch all of the Star Wars. And just being here actually brings Ah, so much joy to my heart knowing that it was actually filmed here. Southern Tunisia is famous for a unique culinary tradition, khubz al-mella, a type of bread baked in the sand in the heart of the desert. This tradition is anchored in the nomadic populations who lived in the desert. The bread is stuffed with tomato sauce, harissa, and some cheese. It's then buried in the sand to get cooked. It's one of the most delicious breads I've ever had. That's the good stuff. 